you're a pastry chef, obviously. I mean, you know everything Am there I? is to know. I, are you? <laughs> do you want to do you want to vet that? Are you or not? Nah? Yeah, I'm joking. I thought I'd do a shortbread shortcake. I uh, love it. Strawberry shortcake, very classic. My favorite desserts are the ones with fruits. Wow. Always. I was actually going to make you something with chocolate. I love chocolate too, but I think the fruit just makes every dessert perfect. So this is the actual shortbread. Okay. And um, I made them this morning for you. Beautiful, very crumbly. Easy, very crumbly. Yeah, it's one of those recipes that like when you put all the dough together, it just starts crumbling in your hand. I, I use a combo. Of butter. Oh yeah, it's a combo of butter and shortening. Awesome. So it's gonna make it really flaky. So now we're just gonna fill it. I think we can assemble it any way we want. There's some cut up strawberries here. Okay. And I saw you made this beautiful, do you call it a syrup or just like a yeah, sauce? It's, yeah, it's just like cooked down strawberries. I probably can only fit two here, but I'm, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more. I'm gonna do sauce. We're gonna do sauce first. Yeah, cause I, oh. I'm gonna hydrate. Oh, see yours looks better already. <laughs> I'm a genius. Nice boy. way to show off. Look, look, mine's all over. <laughs> looks like shit. Look at that. Because at that. I cut them too big. <laughs> that was totally my fault here. Okay. But it's nice. just, so strawberries with a little bit of water. Okay. And I use some honey. I actually use like an orange blossom honey. Nice. Uh, it's infused with orange blossom. Tiny bit of salt, anything sweet, I always put a little bit of salt. And I think that's it. I like your style. Simple and delicious. Simple, oh, thank you. I love your style. All right, can I put a big dollop of this cream A here? big dollop. Can I? Yes, you may. Cool. Oh, I also put some orange and lemon zest inside of the strawberry syrup. Let's put some more zest on top. Let's do some zest. I'll do some orange. Nice. I like that. That's good. How did you make the dough? So I actually did it by hand. You could do it in a food processor. Okay. But it's flour, uh, baking powder, salt, sugar. Okay. Mix that together. And then I added the butter, shortening, heavy cream. Okay. Oh yes. And then just mix it up. It, it's very mealy when you mix it up. It's not quite like a biscuit. A biscuit is a little bit more firm. It comes together. This is a little bit more crumbly. But what you get are those nice flaky layers. So it's very similar to a biscuit, but it's not quite a biscuit. Cool. And then you bake it at high heat, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Should yep. we eat it or should we? we should, oh, some mint. Maybe just, just a sprig or two. Okay. Make it look pretty. Fancy. It looks like I went to pastry school like you. <laughs> oh, and one last touch. Wow, how many last touch? I'm not used like, to it. I like to be fancy a little bit, a little fancy fancy. Okay. So we can do some powdered sugar. Let's do it. Cool. By the way, I love all your props, they're so cool. Thank you, that's where I spend all my money. So <laughs> really? if one day I come to your house and say I am homeless, it's because I spend my house on props. On your props. I right. use them, you do. like dinner parties, uh, like you're here and we're using a lot of them, I, I enjoy them. I've been to your parties, you have the best parties. <laughs> You honestly have the best parties. Uh, They're so lit. I enjoy it. I enjoy making parties. Okay, it looks awesome. I want to say yours look better than mine, but you know. No, that's saying. not true. I think they look equally beautiful and beautiful. let's dig into it. There's right. like no right way to eat this, but I'm going to go for it like a, a big bite. That's your big bite? That looks very sophisticated to me. A big bite's like this. No, I was trying to be cute. That wasn't pretty. Okay, I'll do it. Mmm. Mmm. The sauce. Mmm. That it's delicious. I like it a lot. Listen. Yeah. Do you trust the, all those chefs that don't eat their food after they're done cooking Hell it? No. Come on. What's wrong with that? This is so good. You think people don't want to be seen like like this, like we are right now. That's the yeah, problem. Yeah, we're getting very messy. <laughs> do you remember how we met? I do. do it so, was really cute. You saw me on the streets. I was filming. You were filming. <laughs> uh, I didn't know, but I saw you walk into. I was with my friend Kian. Shout out to Kian. We were having a burger, and you came in with your entourage. You were in and out, but I was just like, I have to talk to you. Because what you probably don't know is, I would say five years before I met you, uh -huh. I had discovered you on Jamie Oliver's YouTube channel. Uh, but I was just like, I have to meet her. I wish more people came to talk to other people for whatever reason. Totally. Like because they like their jumpsuit or because they find their damn weird or whatever Absolutely. reason. 
I think we have, you know, like we created something based on such a little thing. A little thing, yeah. And that was the shot you gave and this friendship begun and it's beautiful. Thank you. It is beautiful. Well, you were so gracious. You were also so gracious and kind. You were like, yeah, take my number. And I was like, you, girl, you don't even know who I am. And you're like, take my number, yeah, let's I hang know. out. And I was like, okay, just, she's the real deal. Um, but that, that really just made my day. And to your point of like opening up and having honest conversations with people and getting to know people beyond the surface. I think that's what you do so well. I think that's why I love watching your work. When I met your team, your crew, I mean, they're just fierce, they're fierce. But you lead it with such grace and such power. How do you do that? There's a motto that I always say. Oh, I none, love mottos. None of your ideas are stupid. None of them. None. <laughs> you know, like we doubt ourselves a lot, especially now where we are in contact with so much content online. Like sometimes you think about doing a photo shoot with your fluorescent shirt and sure. then you're like, but wait, that girl in Switzerland did that and she did it so well, so I'm not gonna do as good as hers. And blah, blah, blah. You know, and then you go in this, you never trust yourself for mm. doing what you believe because you think somebody else did something like that and maybe you're not do as good. And we start to create these patterns mm -hmm. where we only do the things that we think people are gonna like. Or expect of us. Or expect of us. Yes. Because that's the world we know. So we try to compare with others and be like, but if I do this, will, will I be stupid? Or will I appear trendy? I don't know. We put these ideas and then we never actually turn ideas into reality. And that's yeah. sad. It is sad. And because you think about it, how many people there are on this earth, and if everyone actualized their ideas, like imagine the world we would live in. Incredible. We would right? have better system for everything. Right. This probably falls down into me being a little egocentric. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a bad thing. It's just that I, I believe in my idea so much that I don't question it. I is do it, it. Is it egocentric or is it confidence? You know, there's always a little bit of ego in your confidence. I mean, people don't want to say that because that sounds really like, that sounds like- That a, sounds like an asshole. An asshole, <laughs> but it is yeah. true. And you think, uh, you want to move forward with your ideas and transform an idea that's in your head into raw reality. In my case, it's storytelling. I love creating videos. I like to create videos, even though I make, I have a cooking show. It's not only about food. There's always a theme that goes with it and the narrative. It's like a story. You have to start small. You know, some people come and say like, oh, you've accomplished this and that. Of course, I mean, I've accomplished some little things in my life that I, I believe it's great things but you have to you you cannot compare yourself mm -hmm. your story is gonna be different mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. because I think the biggest problem I was mentioning about social media is that it's so easy to compare yourself and see like oh the way she's doing she has 30 people working with her so if I don't have 30 people on board I'm done mm -hmm. this is not gonna work no. no when you start and you don't have any structure mm -hmm. and you don't have that many people with you mm -hmm. trusting you because you're no one no one knows that you know what you're doing or what you want to do that's when you're gonna create the most amazing work that you can possibly create from your heart mm -hmm. because you have these boundaries where you don't have the greatest equipment, but you have ideas. You don't have the greatest team, maybe, but you have people that are really looking to fight with you, for you. Mm -hmm. And then you start creating your own creative process. Yes. And that turns, turns into a work, and that translates your ideas, and the fact that you don't have, for example, a budget, you have you have to come up with creative solutions for all the things that you don't have absolutely and from my point of view the way you see my videos today the editing is so fast and there's so many things happening so many cuts and you know why i came up with that because right. i didn't have a camera guy or a camera girl you did it i did it myself and not and, and to have a static camera was so boring yeah that i was like I have to create a narrative that's that? gonna be more fun. So I would take that, I would film myself, hi, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, okay, this is boring. So now I take the camera and I would do different cuffs in different spaces and outside and then this and that and then stop motion. And then I put it all together and I created my format based on the lack of having 
a camera guy. Wow. So what I'm trying to say is yeah. that to start, you have to start. You have to just start. You have no to matter start. how crappy your equipment is, no matter how terrible your media is, or you don't have money, or you don't have this, put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Something great is going to bloom from it, honestly. Well, I love the word bloom. And the, the quote I love, and I think when you're talking about this, is bloom where you're planted. Are you familiar with that? Beautiful. Bloom no. where you're planted. So wherever you may be, it doesn't matter. You're at a nine to five job, uh, you're, you're raising a, ch a child uh, or whatever, you're a single parent. Uh, bloom where you're planted. See the opportunity where you are and just grow from there. Believe in yourself, that's what you're saying. Trust yourself, trust in your ideas, and just start. And think that none of your ideas are stupid. None of your ideas are stupid. I love you. Cheers to that. You're awesome. <laughs> Cheers. Sorry, I spoke so much. Yeah.